Hello to good evening. Good good evening to sir. How are you sir? I'm very healthy. Okay. Uh, so so tonight it is the the third I think the third meeting for my work internship. Okay. It's about the uh, but this it. Uh, it will be the same as second meeting before. Uh, so I will share screen. Share. Okay, about the agenda, the schedule, the personal best, still nothing. And the business best is trying many components in React. And also, I want to ask about the proposition of this intense. What do you mean? <laughs> so, about the, it's correct to use in for... Oh, it's English like, thing. Trying yes. many components in React. You mean it should be at or on? Yeah, nah. because I'm still a little confused about the difference. But I think at is not, it's not a choice. I think it's between in or... Uh, or on between in and on <laughs> trying uh, okay first of all it should be components with an with an s since it's oh, plural yes. right <laughs> okay i forgot um, it on react i would say that uh, in in react would be a, a better way because it's it's more like in the react ecosystem but on React is also somewhat correct as the <laughs> components actually run on top of React. But I would say uh, uh, in React is, is more like it. So you mean you uh, prefer in? I think so. Then I think so. The, okay. Because uh, I consist. Uh, as you said before, on uh, is used when the top of something, and I think <laughs> component is the top yeah. uh, is the part of React so that makes me confused. I would say that in this but, case, the the more proper way is actually just saying trying many React components because many. Oh, yeah. Because because React is both. Uh, because React does not refer to just one thing. React is both a library, and React is also an ecosystem. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So when you say that you are trying many components in React, I think in that case you are referring to React as an ecosystem, not React as a library. But when you say that trying many components on React, it's more like trying many components on top of the React framework or the React library. Uh, however, I think when people are discussing React, it's more about discussing React as an ecosystem. So for example, you are, you are trying the components in uh, NDesign Pro, right? So NDesign Pro is not just React, but yeah, no, it's it's part of the React ecosystem. Okay. So it's the best I think of the React components. Okay. Okay. About okay to do list. <laughs> I'm still not contact again. Okay. Uh, uh, the third. Yeah. You, you can just say hi. All right, so please do it now. <laughs> just open the thing. <laughs> right, you have to do it now. <laughs> okay, okay. No so fear. instead of, you know, getting to a meeting and I haven't done it, it's, it's, it's a simple thing, actually. <laughs> yep. All right. Hi. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
okay. and maybe just say, uh, I want to ask how to do expense claim. Maybe you can say, how are you first, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, how are you, Revita? Okay. And then that one. Just like that, or okay, <laughs> right? Maybe with some emoticon. Okay. Why? Why? With with money emoticon. <laughs> Where's money? There's no money. Oh. Okay. Oh, she's yeah, it's online. <laughs> okay. Hi, Yolo. Hi, Yolo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. About the. Uh, can I continue or we have to wait? Okay. Okay, please Have continue. You yeah, sometimes I ignore it. <laughs> okay. Uh, the third video using grid and calm. Maybe next because okay. uh, I finished just uh, recently to use it. Mm -hmm. And the second is I finished to fix the messy page, app, but I don't know you what you will like it or not. Okay. Okay. Maybe first I have to show you. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, so, I'm already... Oh, it's... Okay. Okay. Mm, sorry, it is about the... Uh, because I developed it in my... On, on my lap... On my laptop with mm -hmm. the... You know the width and the yeah the the background of this column is changed. Wait. Mm -hmm. mm, I have to edit it. Oh, wait. Oh, it's the right. Cover it. You don't repeat it. So. Oh. Okay. But this is this is very good. It's definitely much of an improvement than the the first one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually already using the components that that I want. It's using the radio button and everything. So yeah, this is this is much an improvement. Yeah, um, mm. uh, I use, uh, uh, wait, I think I have to. Okay. Yeah, I, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to because, get, like the, because the, the light part, right? The girl. <laughs> okay. But the general oh. idea with the, with the front end designer is your design should be responsive, right? Yes. Yeah, so it should not depend on exact. But, and actually 90% of our users are using mobile phone when accessing uh, our application or website. So the, the first design should look good on mobile. And after that, it can look uh, good on uh, desktop too. So, uh, but do you know that, that there is a mobile uh, button on the, 
browser. Mobile button. Yeah, on inspect. Uh, you mean this? Yeah, that one. And also you can enable or disable it on the left part. Left. Uh, the left bottom, the left bottom part on the inspect window on the inspect part. Oh yeah. Uh, no, the, the, the right button one. So you can disable the mobile one. No, 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 the, the left one, but yeah, the right button. Just oh. So you can still, you know, switch between mobile mode and um, uh, desktop mode. Okay. So what I want to suggest to you is instead of just uh, trying to change the position, how about uh, making the image itself lighter? Lighter. Yeah. So do you know? Um, so making it like more white, the entire image becomes whiter. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, I think there is a CSS uh, property for that, yeah. Yes, maybe op yes, something you know, to add a. a it thing. can be responsive too, or just. Uh, no, it's it's not about responsive. It's it's about you know changing the color of the image. The opacity or. Opacity is one way. But. But the background image changing. What's that changing? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, background opacity is not there. Uh, I already tried about the background opacity. <laughs> mm -hmm. It completely uh, make okay. the the component. Uh, more transparent too. Okay. Actually, it should be just three. Um, let's see. Okay, so I guess there's no way to do that. There is a way, but it, it looks like complex. <laughs> So I I don't try it. Yeah, I think the easiest way would be to edit the image on an image editor and then make it lighter and then put it there again. So I think that's yeah. the easiest. Right. I think that. Uh, actually, I use uh, uh, what what is that? Uh, another background, but mm -hmm. when when I when there there is a rows of this uh, form mm -hmm. when we submit it and the what, the input type uh, the data entry is empty mm -hmm. uh, there will be uh, pop up some message about this okay. with mm -hmm. input name mm -hmm. okay and the color is red so okay. I have to put another uh, light lighter uh, background. Okay. Uh, actually, when I uh, styling it, it's not uh, more uh, what is the more purple thing in this part, but because uh, the width of the screen is wider. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So just like that. Yeah. So or, I would say the, the solution is just to edit the image and make it even lighter that no matter what is the position of the image then you will still have a readable text yeah i think that's yeah that will work for all sizes whether it's mobile it's tablet it's landscape portrait big screen small screen uh, it should work the, the same yeah okay okay maybe I would say later this i will is, edit this is very good <laughs> Yeah, I would say that this is this is good. Oh, uh, uh, sir, uh, I want to ask you. Um, okay. So I use this URL image from internet, but mm -hmm. I want to just like uh, the source is from my 
uh, local mm-hmm. local folder. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know how to use it? because I use the same way in the on uh, just like in the, the internet but it, it didn't work. Okay, so first uh, try to download it. Uh, is it already on your yeah. uh, folder? It's, it's already. Okay, okay so now you try, try to change the URL. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Wait, uh, um, no, I forgot it. Background image. Mm-hmm. No, what? Yesterday I used it, it will uh, show with the potential folder. But why the it is just so I put it on just where we put this is asset. No, you need to put double, double dots first. Double dots. Oh, double dot. Okay. Double dot. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Another double dot. Because you are still in that folder. Okay, now you can oh, yeah. assets. Asset. Because you are in middle folder, right? So you have to go up twice. Yes. Oh. Not right. When I want to up twice, using mm. double. Okay. So it's like you are the children, uh, you are the child of your father. So if you want to go to the grandson of your grandmother, you have to go up and then up again, and then go down and then go down again. So, so does it work? I think it works. Okay. It, it works. Okay. Right. Why is that it didn't work? Okay. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Why when I try it alone, it what works? Yeah. Okay, That's why I told you, don't, don't be alone. <laughs> you need to be with someone who can Ooh. give you solution to Good. your problems. <laughs> Okay, maybe later I will ask Kevin. <laughs> okay. Maybe you are alone for too long. <laughs> six, six or seven. So that's why you have lots of problems. <laughs> and I just want to try to finish it alone too. Just. Okay, so <laughs> next. So, so, I think it's... so. What do what we have to do next? Mm-hmm. Well, it depends Should on your do... meeting agenda. But you think this this oh. is okay? Okay, so I would say that this is. Mm, my mark will be 75 percent yeah uh, let's see how it works in mobile see okay how it works in mobile mobile okay, okay so uh, right no, okay so let's put some uh, of my uh, suggestions here so please put that on the notion card so that you can fix it for the next time Okay, uh, yeah, recap to do is, um, you know, mar- margin, you know, especially the horizontal margin are too wide on mobile, yeah, are too wide on mobile. Horizon. 
margin to white on mobile. Because oh, yeah. on mobile, you have to take as much horizontal space as possible because it's narrower. On mobile. On mobile. All right. So, oh, and the second one is uh, need to uh, edit the background image to be lighter. Okay, cool. So let's check it out again. Oh yeah, and please change the uh, body font to Open Sans. Yeah. Okay. Body font to Open Sans. And then also change the heading font to Balu 2. Heading font? Heading font is Balu 2. Heading font is where? You can. Uh, no, not sir. Uh, I mean, the heading font is this. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Actually, there should be some kind of heading, maybe on the left. Yeah, that's that says. Uh, uh, what 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 is the correct word? Yeah, should be. Um, this is actually copywriting thing, yeah. Like, uh, maybe Balu, like this, or <laughs> Balu is A L O O. B L A A L O O. Okay, maybe I will try to check the Juluf website to get some ideas what should be the proper uh, setting. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, I think the heading should be finding your match starts here okay finding your match starts here uh, heading the the caption the heading yeah yeah the heading yeah you should put the heading somewhere on the left yeah finding your match starts here so it's like a invitation right to sign up finding, finding your, your match your match is it should, do you think it should be your match or your soulmate? Oh, your mate. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's, uh, I'm asking whether it's soulmate or match. What do you think feels better? Mm. Maybe the first thing is match because. Match. Soulmate is something. Okay. okay. It's deeper, <laughs> more deeper. Okay. So finding your match starts here. So the okay. caption, or is it? Uh, what no, it's it? it's just like the the caption is just. Oh, uh, oh, the caption of before sign in. You mean? Um, no, I think it should be on top. It's like near the logo, yeah, or below the logo, something, or maybe on top of the logo. Uh, oh, before this? Yeah, before that one. So the heading first in Balu, font, and then that will be the description. Can you can you uh Balu two? I can. Balu two. Ba <laughs> and put put number two there. Spell spell hmm? to Balu two. Yep. Like this? Yeah, there is a space. Uh, and both fonts well, are in Google Fonts, yeah. So you can uh, you can get it from Google Fonts, both of them, Open Sans and also Balut. Okay, but I would say all right. And I think for the heading, I think it's without a comma. And starts here with an S. So finding your match without a comma and then starts here. Yeah. 
starts here with, with an S yeah. Okay. In Indonesian, I think that I think Indonesian would be men, menemukan temukan jodohmu mulai dari sini, nah something like that. Ya. Yeah. Okay, and then another to do will be change heartenly to Miluf. Oh, I didn't put the name. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. On the hidden. Actually, you can change it now, yeah. For the Miluf text, I think you can you can change it now. I don't think that do you have to put the Milov as a brand there. Just change the text of Atomly. Uh, you can change it now. Wait, wait. I have to pause it. Wait. <laughs> the okay. Simple and you can just change it. So put the text. No, I mean just change it on th line thirty-five. Just change it. Thirty-five. Yeah. So this. this uh, I mean change heartenly to Milo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's it. Okay. I didn't hmm? put Milo. What the text? I think it's it's okay. Yeah? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Okay. It and, you know, uh, when I think about it, it's kind of cool. You know, like when you, uh, you know. You, you get a box of like iPhone. It doesn't say like, you know, Apple or something. It just gives you the logo. So Oof. I kind of think of like that, okay? <laughs> well, you the see, branding. <laughs> yeah, the this branding thing. Logo yeah. Said anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what, okay. that's what I think, okay? Okay, you, so you didn't put the Miluf word in a big font. Okay, so maybe let's let's just, you know, uh, follow you okay so just put the logo there and okay so this logo is is cool <laughs> it's a cool cool thing i like it the idea okay and then another would be okay your status um yeah. i would say that please make it uh uh you know split it into two yeah 50 50. so instead of that becomes like a left side i think it should spend the the whole column the whole column yeah oh. yeah so there will be gender half and then status will be half but the position is uh is that my pet. <laughs> hmm? My pet. Uh, the position uh, will be. Uh, what is, uh, uh, just I want to show you the component. Like this or like this? Uh, it this bonus. No, I th I would say it should be, you know, uh, full width. So n neither of the the ones that you are seeing, maybe uh above, yeah. The monospace arrangement. Hmm. No, no. Uh, maybe try something. Yeah, I think it's it's more about the 
the monospace arrangement there. I think it's more about that, but the uh, the spacing is not as big as that. Or you want to try it now, it's okay. If you want to try it now. Uh, justify. Wait, uh, I read it. What? Okay, so if I if I can draw something, let's see. Where is the drawing thing? Ah, this one. So no. now, no. Uh, you have it like this, right? And then uh, it becomes like this. But actually, the container is this big, right? Now, instead yeah. of doing that, um, I propose you to do is if the container is this big, now it becomes like this. Nah, something like this. So this is the gender and this is the status. Something like this. So it's about the radio group. Okay. Actually, you can you can make that using a grid there. Yeah. You can make that using a, a row and call. So without without doing any CSS should be. It can. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, sir. Oh, you can try. Oh, so so I put the column. Uh, in the column again? Yeah, because oh. you know you can you have a column, right? And then inside the column you have a row, and then inside that row you have two columns. Okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe don't use the radio group. Okay. All right. This time, uh, okay, you have a radio group. I'm just seeing this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I Maybe. think you should make a row inside that you know status or just just make the status a row, yeah, because that that is a div, right? Yeah. You can make that a row. Okay, and then put that as a call. Yeah, you can put row in there. Okay, and inside that you put a call and then another call. With the row, mm -hmm. so uh, this column, these two column is in one row. Yeah, so this part, this is the row. And this part, call, and this is also another call. Yep. Okay. Put the color. Okay. Okay. Because it's it <clears throat> four or two, yeah. you think? No. Actually, when you it's make a when you make a row, you reset back to twenty four. So oh. if you want half, that will be 12. So this will be 12. This is also 12. But the position is in the, the row is in, <laughs> oh, it's 
so hard to explain it. <laughs> okay, just try it. Uh, I just okay. maybe four. Okay, so What is them studios? Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, comes coming. Or sir, can you? Yeah, but what I mean can is you that. Hear us? Okay, but what I mean is that it should be health, so that's why I'm I'm saying it should be like twelve, twelve there. Okay. Why the big room? Okay, so I try to use twelve instead for the poll. So that you get 12. oh the twelve oh I'm sorry the twelve is oh, the twelve is the uh, uh, the twenty four is the a uh, whole of this this part yeah twenty four is the whole row okay twenty oh the whole row. row so you need you want to divide inside of that. Okay, so let's see whether this works. Even there, uh, they are in SM, they, they are in a column with hmm. SM8. So, yeah, so that's why oh. each time you make a row, it becomes 24 again. So within, within that scope, they have uh, 24 uh, blocks, yeah. Okay, so I think this is good, but I would say that, mm, yeah, this is good, but the label, I think that your status should be gone and then should be just gender and status using the same label style as as usual. So instead, oh. yeah, because you have a label for your status, line 52, that should be gone. Yep. And then you should have a label with the same style as before. Shouldn't form item has a label? Oh, because it's different, yeah. The label in form item. So you make your own label. It's okay. Okay. That would be better. It will work. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. Maybe because the label has their behavior too. Yeah. Okay. You need to put an additional styling in. Or you can change mm. the display on the last file so that it displays as a block. Maybe try that one first. On the styles that label, yes. maybe try to change it to display block. On the less file. Okay, where is the style label? Try to use display block. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, okay, that's nice. Why the? Yeah, that's because of the, the position that you said. <laughs> It's because of the position. I think the position uh, and uh, what is the style? I think you should cover something. Yeah, uh, I, I the background the image. Maybe try to. What is the background? Okay. Uh, maybe change the background position X. Maybe just just remove that position thing because later on you will edit it anyway, right? Let's yeah. see how this works. Oh. Yeah, 
I think it's because we change the position and that means yeah. you know the the image is uh is not fit and then it needs to repeat again okay. so yeah i would say this is cool yeah let's say this is cool uh the next thing is okay. about the language language selection the do you think a better way to use is select or drop down menu mm. but the Okay, I should, it should be like the language selection in InDesign Pro. However, at this point, I will not. Um, it, this is not a a priority at this point. Oh. I would say that I would prefer that this gets done, so the user can sign up. So we can you can go as soon as possible to functionality mode. Uh, we we can revisit uh, <laughs> next time. Yeah. So I'm, I'm also worried that if you spend too much time on uh, the details which require uh, additional uh, technical stuff, uh, it will demotivate you. So I would say it will be better for you to finish this sign up form and then make it functional. And then so we can go to the, the next screen after sign up. I think that's more interesting. Hello? Hello? Is my voice missing? Hello, hello. No, no, no. I, I say what though. <laughs> oh, what though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So the messy page is done. Mm -hmm. I can put it. Okay, so. so next is the function. Okay. All right. This function. Okay, I would say one to do would be to deploy to AWS Amplifier. Deploy to AWS Amplifier. Um, it, it will be up to you when you want to do it. If you want to do it now, it's okay. If you want to do it. Some other time, that's also okay. Mm, maybe you can explain me uh, what should we do about the function? Oh, the functionality if first. I... Oh, sorry, sorry. I don't really hear this what this what uh, you said previously. <laughs> okay, so I, I said that uh, please add to do for deploy to AWS Amplify. So this will be a different to do than functionality. Yeah. Deploy Put to, in to do. Yeah, deploy to AWS Amplify. Deploy to W. AWS. A W S. Oh, wait. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and oh, amplifier. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's how they and say it in English, right? <laughs> but but AWS. Oh. Yeah. Deploy to the AWS. <laughs> amplify. Okay. Amplify and is A M P. Yep, that's true. No, no end there. Yeah. AWS Amplify. There is no end. Eh? Without end, just remove the end. Ah. So amplify is the the product name, yeah. Okay. Uh, deploy is the thing. I, uh, I think deploy is the thing will take more time than functionality. Mm, in this case, no. In this case, no. <laughs> uh, this is different than when you deploy the um, the image uh, processing uh, 
uh, one, the cartoon detection one. Uh, this time we are just deploying a React app, uh, which is much much faster. Yeah, it's much faster. It's up to you, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what do you want to do now, and which one that you want to do next? Some someday, because yeah, for the deploying part, uh, you will need to do it with me, so you know, uh, it's not something that I think, uh, you know, uh, that you can do by yourself. At least at this point, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the rest of the to do there, yeah, you can do it yourself. Okay. So, you want to try to deploy now? If it not take much time. <laughs> sure. Okay. Wait a minute now. But when, uh, when I when, sorry, uh, when I. Uh, edit some functionality. Mm -hmm. they, we have to deploy again or just uh, edit another simple way. Yeah, so it will be a simple way. So basically, you, you kind of set it up uh, one time. And then after that, the next voice will be uh, simply pushing that to a branch oh. in GitLab. So basically, you update the branch, and then AWS Amplify Console will uh, will will do it for you. Okay. Okay. Like this. I think deploy. Deploy. Uh, we'll, okay. So now, please push uh, this to GitLab first. I'll give you a user so you can. Okay, I pushed it. All right. Mm. And now, uh, what I want you to do is that you need to push this into the um, into a staging branch. Yeah, into a staging branch. So you can use the console to do that. Wait, by the way. What is this? Um, by the way, what, what is the name of your project in in the GitLab? Okay, can you go to terminal? Can you create a, a new terminal? Okay, yeah, create a new terminal, all right? And then try to enter git remote space main fee. Git remote main fee. Okay, Mil, mm -hmm. all right, let's go. So, let's see, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a policy to you. Okay. Okay, first uh, change the region by the top bar on the right. It says Ohio. Change that to Singapore. Singapore. Why, why not Seoul? Hmm? What? <laughs> why not Seoul? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, if you, if you want to help me get more customers <laughs> from Korea, we definitely will have a we use a server in sale. Yeah, so please help me to have more customers <laughs> well, in Korea. Yeah. Maybe later. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, but because for now our customers are mostly in nations and Singapore, Singaporeans and Malaysians. So let's get some customers from Korea, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully with your help. Yeah. Okay, now go to services. We can type and find Amplify. All right, cool. It just reminds me uh, mm. of the uh, make me throw back to the AWS. Mm. What uh, uh, the AWS train okay. <laughs> training on inter intercom? Okay. Okay, Milo. Hey, there's already this app before. That's weird. Last deployment, 26 October. Hmm. So you, you already no. do this before? No. Really? That's weird. Or do I, did I create <laughs> Did I create Maybe it connect GitLab? to the GitLab? Yeah. Maybe you already. <laughs> That's weird because I I did not recall creating this. But all right. Anyway, you should do it uh, from the start. Yeah. So just click on actions, and then delete this thing. Action. <laughs> yeah. Actions on the right, and click on delete. Maybe oh, we, okay. we already did this uh, sometime in the past. Yeah. So just delete this and let's clear. Maybe when the cartoon recognition, <laughs> the image recognition. <laughs> no, this is the new, right? Meal of App Anki is, is the new one that you're just creating a, a few weeks ago with NDesign Pro. Uh, okay, just delete this and then we can create it again. <laughs> we can delete it and we can create it again. Bye. Okay, now okay, okay. we can connect an app. All right, and choose GitLab. GitLab. Okay, continue. All right. Okay. Okay, authorize. Okay, now select repository. Yep, mail of Abanki. And then choose the staging branch. Oh, you have not pushed it yet. Okay, let's go back to uh, Visual Studio Code because we need to push that to a, a branch. So type git push. Okay, type um, git push. The terminal or the yeah. uh, In the terminal, git, git space push. push space origin and then space master and then colon staging yeah. yep but without space yeah so master colon staging without space no no staging yeah uh, no no space oh. Uh, staging G only one G. Staging. All right. Okay, so you are creating a new branch here called staging. So every time you do git push origin master column staging, it will update the branch there. And then AWS Amplify will then deploy your app. Okay, so go to Amplify and then click the refresh button on the right again the reload on the right okay oh. what I mean is that there is a there is a button 
Uh, there's a oh. button there. <laughs> yeah, it's just the same. I, okay. I Okay, and now you can choose the staging brands. Okay, go. Cool. Then next. Next. Okay, now there are some build settings here. So let me give you the settings that I usually use for this uh, kind of project. With okay. Because you will need to edit this, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I think I will post it to via chat. Uh, and so on. Uh, there are, uh, basically there's the server needs to know whether you are accessing a real file or you are accessing a screen. Okay, so for example, if you are accessing CSS or GIF or PNG, ICO and so on, these are there, uh, then that means that you are accessing a file, right? So when you are accessing a file, then Amplify needs to serve that file. So basically what we, uh, what we do here is that if you are not accessing a real file, then it should go to index.html which is a screen. Okay, so the logic is the logic is as simple as that actually. But the syntax is using regex, but basically yeah, regex. yeah. But basically it's just saying, okay, if you are not accessing a real file, then you please go to index HTML and display the screen. And after that uh, the, the UI will take care of, of it. Which which screen that it's displaying and so on. It's uh, it will be the job of our React app. Okay, that's it. Okay, so you can go back to build settings and see what what's happening there. Oh, uh, general, yeah, I think general or or the app itself. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the build and see why it's not working when we go down on the front end part because uh, we're using the same builds settings as my project so i wonder oh i see because i have a copy something there yeah okay let's see warning wait that's the last one That's weird. It says error, but can, can you scroll a bit up to see if there is any error there? Just warnings. Just one. Let's oh, see. maybe in the cloning. Okay. Cloning is successful. Hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, actually, in my part, there is another uh, lock there. Maybe you can try to refresh. It's actually there's something <laughs> else down there. There is something, yeah, or you can do that and try to scroll down to the most bottom part. Still no? Yeah, try to refresh the, the whole page. There is still something there. I don't know why it's not showing. Okay, go to the front end. Okay, scroll down. Okay, now that the part here that's error is the CP yeah, on line 133. So there's a difference because in my app, I have this file, but in yours, you don't have that. So change that the build settings, go to the build settings again. 
but later on that you will need to have that file but maybe not now okay to edit the build settings and then comment line 11 yeah. comment line 11 yeah. you can just comment put a put a crash on there yeah put a crash crash or oh, comment yep all right okay and that's it and and then it will try to rebuild again uh, should we do redeploy okay maybe try clicking the redeploy this version Okay, so I think this should should work. Okay, so while waiting, is there anything that you want to ask or discuss? I think no one. <laughs> hmm? I think no one. Nothing. Yeah, no. Nothing. No one is usually Nothing. used for a human being. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe uh, English lesson. <laughs> English lesson. <laughs> okay. So what is because I'm not an English teacher, so I think what I, <laughs> what I do would be uh, as a practice. So you can speak in English with me, converse in English with me, uh, using chat, using uh, meeting. I think that's it. But if you want to learn like TOEFL test preparation, well, uh, yeah, there, there are the resources in the internet and that you can use for that. <laughs> yeah, but mm. I think uh, the, what's that? Oh. The experience okay. will have some. Uh, well, the problem is I, that I'm not an English teacher, but if you want to be an English teacher, then I can help you with that. <laughs> if you want to be an English teacher and you want to be uh, to teach English, you want to teach uh, TOEFL preparation, then. I can provide you the resources to do that. Uh, that it's actually mm -hmm. one of the things that I offered <laughs> you some time ago, yeah, maybe last year, I guess. Yeah, but my English still, my level is just beginner. But but that's uh, but that's okay. I mean, that's okay in the sense that if you want to uh, create. Uh, a program to uh, prepare TOEFL for someone else. Um, it's actually the same thing that you prepare for yourself, right? So basically, when you are learning to prepare TOEFL uh, for yourself, you can actually teach that same material to someone else. Okay, because you're you're basically um, preparing for the same test. Okay. So, are you interested in doing that? Maybe I have to learn more before. Yeah. So because I feel that. Yeah. So it's it. Uh, mm -hmm. Just. Uh, I do, uh, I'm not a perfect one to do it. <laughs> well, it's it's not about being perfect or not, but I mean, when you create a content, you you can. Um, oh, you mean uh, just like make a video? Yes, and all this all the oh. video will be scripted anyway. All the video will be scripted, and the content, the script of the content. 
uh, I will review it first, of course. And yeah, and after that you 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 can deliver. So uh, basically, it's yeah, it's learning and teaching at the same time. But all right, this is already done, and it's already up to the verify process. Or we can discuss about that later. So you can click on the domain thing. You can click on domain there. Click on it, and. Voila, it's there. <laughs> Yay. <Wow. laughs> okay. Why don't we hmm? we give it to the one that comment my video? <laughs> so the one that comment the my user, video. Uh, they say, um, uh, he said that uh, he got a problem when deploy the Andesan Pro. <laughs> Okay, but I don't know. <laughs> he he deployed to what? Yeah, sure. Please, please comment. You can comment now, and then you can uh, say the URL, and then uh, you can <laughs> tell him to please check out the next video. Yeah, because I will be uploading oh. uploading this recording. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you want to comment now on YouTube? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. So I guess this part is done on the to-do list, yeah, and deploy. So. Uh, but. Hmm? I have to. <laughs> Why I open those? I have to do. The video to or nah or not uh, where's the notion oh. do I have to make it yeah this I think uh, the or? video is a more about row and call yeah on the layout okay you, you don't have to make a video about deploying to AWS MP5 because it's something that's only done once after this thanks God. what you do is <laughs> just uh get push okay you can Make a note there, so in case you forget. Oh, make a note in uh, README, yeah. Please edit the README on the on the project. Uh, edit on the README because this uh, card will be deleted later. Uh, you can open the project on the README file on Visual Studio Code. What? You can oh. open Visual Studio Code and open yeah. the README file. So much okay. uh, me, and then you can add a new heading. Maybe I don't know, should it be on top or bottom? So basically, how to deploy uh, using Git there, yeah. or how to redeploy? Yeah, because it's not the first one. How to redeploy? Yeah. So Git, and then you can just copy the comment that you type below. Where's the comment? Above, above. Nah, oh. that one. Good push. Okay. And can you do some markdown formatting? So it will look better. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Can you can you click <laughs> preview on the right? Can you click this one? Preview. Okay, so I will show you uh, why this is important. Okay, this is just simple, right? So now please put uh, before the git push. Uh, the this this syntax here. Yeah. Okay, and then the closing one. Okay, let's go. All right. Nice. Okay. <laughs> now you can commit this and push. 
Ya, tienes una. Why? Yeah, that's that's how Markdown works actually. So if you want to learn more about Markdown, you can. What? <laughs> After the bash one, you need to uh, enter it because that's like the prefix line. Uh, wait. And then enter. Oh. After the bash, enter. Ah. Oh. That's for the okay. 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 Sir. Okay. Uh, I think on line fifty-seven that should be heading two, not three, yeah? because it's it's not a sub of test. Oh, then test code. Yeah, because it's not a sub of that one. Okay, cool. So you can save it and commit and push. After this, we can discuss about the English one. Do I have to refactor it again or just push it? No, just push because uh, even if you deploy, there is no uh, change here. Yeah. But please uh, put a message. And then... yeah. Wait, wait. Just put a message, not, mm. not shared it. The, not this one, way. the message will be docs, yeah. Docs, colon, docs, colon, and then something. Docs? Yeah, docs, D O C S. D O. Yeah, and then colon, and then space. And then, yeah, give a, a description. Okay, and then push. 